Well, between that Pentagon press conference and the booster shot news, it has been a tough day for the Biden administration. CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nancy Cordes joins us now. All right, first, Nancy, what a striking admission of failure from the Pentagon. Any reaction from the White House? Not yet, Nora. They have been asked repeatedly about this strike in recent days, but they've always deflected, saying they wanted to give the Pentagon a chance to investigate, to figure out whether civilians were, in fact, unintentionally killed. Well, we now know that is the case, and this is only likely to contribute to the notion that the pullout from Afghanistan was chaotic and suffered from a lack of advanced planning. And then, Nancy, the news about the boosters, I mean, is this FDA panel vote a sign that maybe the White House got out ahead of the science? It sure looks that way, Nora. You know, a month ago when the president first announced that he wanted to start offering booster shots to all Americans starting next week, it did lead to questions about whether the White House was putting undue pressure on the FDA to authorize the use of boosters right away. Well, the president has since softened his stance. He now says that he just wants to make sure that he has enough vaccine on hand to offer boosters to all Americans when the FDA decides that it's the right time. Nancy Cordes, thank you so much.